Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video, we're going to be busting open this mum's model box. Guys, if you don't know what model box is, it is a subscription based service that delivers a themed box every month to my house with a bunch of miniature related goodies, normally models, painting tools, and hobby accessories paints themselves, that sort of thing. I did a video explaining it a lot more and explaining the company in my first video. There'll be a link in the description below as well as a link to their site. And guys, go and check it out if you're interested. Now, there's also a discount code for your first month or something like that, but you, that's below if you want to help yourself. I don't make any money. This isn't uh, this isn't going to make me rich or anything like that. So use the code if you would like to just save a bit of cash for yourselves. Now, I'm particularly excited about this one. I'm not very good at remembering what the theme is each month, but I'm pretty, pretty sure, fingers crossed, this one is elven and i always loved elves growing up it would always be the class that i picked i loved legless from lords of the rings i've always played with a bow and that sort of thing so i think this is elven so there's high hopes for this one should we have a look what's inside let's look what is inside here we go i still never got over the, the fact they changed the internal packaging and i always expected shredded paper but not anymore it's been a long time since those days days comments in the description below if you remember the ripped up paper days now guys it includes a little bit of candy this time it's a chupa chups uh, chupa chups is that how you say it chupa 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 yeah i was right um mini a little lolly lollipop wet the whistle uh wet the whistle <laughs> yeah maybe <laughs> but something some, a bit taste in your mouth better than licking your paintbrush so that's the first thing i noticed let's 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 get one thing out of time let's uh let's go for the paint next so as i mentioned it often I think it nearly always, I can't remember a time it didn't include paint, but it, it often at least includes paint, I think it's always. And while I own a lot of paints, they're very, very good, and that's very good of the subscription boxes that they, they introduce you to companies you might not know. A lot of you might not know about Instar. I only know about them because I get model box and I've had a few of their paints before. So this is their alpha, I can't remember what that means. It means something specific, it's bound to say in the sheet, wherever the little pamphlet that comes with it. Rao 5... 1013 cobalt blue this is a really deep let me shake it sec this is a really deep blue it's nice it's not like a color i've got many of it at least i'm interested in trying that and i love these bottles i probably say it every time but they're like kid friendly you can't unscrew them without pushing them down so i always like their bottles and i've tried a bunch of instar paints and they're pretty good uh, and that's a nice new one that i don't have oh well, there's two paints let's see what the other one is another instar alpha again i just need to check i'm sure I, every time i get alpha i'm like which one's that i know they do various ranges and they mean stuff so this is papyrus white it's papyrus right papyrus i don't know whatever it's a gray isn't it it's an off-white i always like collecting up loads of different off-whites there's a time and a place for each and it saves me it's not hard to mix a slightly off-white but it saves me mixing it doesn't it now what what were those colors white blue and Blue and white. I, f I, f I feel like I'd be expecting green for elves. I, I like to be surprised. Though. Let's start with this metal mini because I'm never that fan fussed about metal mini. But this is an elf assassin. Let's bust it out. Let's have a look. Who's it by? Alternative Armies. Again, introducing even me to companies I've never heard of. Never heard of Alternative Armies. So this is another miniature producing company, isn't it? And this is an elf assassin. See, that's exactly the sort of thing I used to pick. The sort of rogue elf class assassins snipers all of that this is a nice looking miniature Be interesting how well this paints up and oh, the effort of working with metal but you know whatever it is what it is put that on a nicer base uh, yeah i like it you could just see his eyes peeping through Boop. so that's not bad that's exactly what i would pick the rogue elf let's see what else we've got in here this mum oh this is cool this is like is this the exclusive i bet this is the exclusive doesn't come with the model box uh, piece of card that normally comes in. Each month there's an exclusive. Yeah, it, m it must be because it's resin and it looks like all their other exclusive. Each month there's an exclusive miniature. I normally save it to the last, but it wasn't obvious what this was this time. And it's custom designed and sculpted and um, produced for model box. And that this is this month's. Look at that. That's cool, isn't it? Like his blade. So look, it looks like, oh, I can't remember his name, the guy from Lord of the Rings though, doesn't it? It's got to be based on him. Who is that? The Elven King Lord, whatever his name is, uh, Mr. Anderson from The Matrix. But yeah, that's a really, really nice looking sculpt, isn't it? Love, love his armor, the detail there, and this sort of Elven 
patterns on his shoulder blades, but that's really nice. And it comes with a base. I always like when it comes with a base. Stick that on there. And they do a painting competition as well. I, I think this is what I might paint up this month. Painting competition is amazing, guys. If you don't know about that, every month that you can win a, a, a really nice prize. You just paint up one of the miniatures. Sometimes it's a specific one, but normally it's just any of them. See what you can do with the box. And you don't have to be the best painter to win. It's normally judged, I, I won't say randomly, it's just, just whatever George fancies, whatever pulled his attention it, so it's really i like it in that way that anyone can win it's not always just the, the best painter because that could be dominated by just a very very good painter win every month i mean it would just be me right surely right right yeah not sure about that but i do like that everybody's in with a chance it makes it a little bit more interesting for everybody to enter what was this this was just this was one of those bad squ oh erin the teenage elf archer how specific so he's a teenage elf archer. Uh, that looks that looks jank, right? Wow. I mean, it's I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. That just looks naff. I normally like bad Squiddo Games miniatures, but I mean, it's yeah, it's an elf and he looks like a young lad, but I don't know. I don't know. That just isn't doing it for me. It just doesn't look like a very good sculpt. I mean, it's going to look like an elf, but why? Like, <laughs> which am I going to prefer to paint? Hmm, you tell me. So that's a, that is a solid miss with me. I wonder if he's out of a game. I don't know if he could be used for anything. I think it's just a miniature, but yeah. That's the first miniature I'm truly unimpressed with. Wow. Oh, I had high hopes for this box. Let's see what else we've got. We've got... We've got one miniature to go. They're all metal though. I've, I've just always, I'm always put off by metal miniatures. I just, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm unfair to metal and I think it looks better when it's painted. It's always just not as nice before the paint's applied, but when I've painted them in the past, I can get them nearly as nice as my plastic ones. See, this is a lot better. I mean, again, it's still hard to see because it's all shiny in the light, but I can see his face, his details, his armor's nice. It's just, something's off. Look at the difference. You can really, you can see the details, right? The light's picking it all up and it's just, I don't know, a bit flat on the, the teenage one. Anyway, what, what was this? This is by Lucid Eye Publications. Uh, it doesn't say specifically what it is, but yeah, that's a pretty nice looking generic elf with um, it's not like a crystal ball in his hand. So that's quite unique, isn't it? It looks a bit labyrinth, a bit of David Bowie sort of thing. But yeah, I, li I like that one. I like this one. This assassin's nice as well. So these two are cool. Actually, that that's pretty good. Like you could build a, yeah, you could build a bit of an elf party, couldn't you? Other than I'm probably almost never going to paint that. But you've got four elves to build up a sort of RPG elven band here, haven't you? They look like different classes almost. You've got the the rogue, the oh, I guess an archer, but this is a sort of sorcerer, and and then you've got some sort of lord, paladin maybe, or whatever you want. But yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. I love this. This is fantastic. They always do a really good job with the exclusive, though. It gets bored of saying it. It's like you just know every month you're going to get one amazingly created and sculpted, produced miniature. And then this month we've got two that I like. One that I just, yeah, nah, not sold. Anything else in the box? That's the base for him. Ah, here's the... Here's a little piece of paper. Just bear with me while I read this quickly. Yeah, so there we go. It was Elvin, as I mentioned. You've got this beautiful model. I think that one's quite nice and does talk about his magical orb. And I noticed that too. You've got uh, the Elf Assassin. Oh, see, the one I got was way cooler than that, I think. Look at that. I got the cool miniature. Well, it's all subjective, isn't it? But yeah, I think mine looks better. So I'm happy with that one. Yeah, so the people get these semi at random. They must have had a few of them. Then, yeah, as I mentioned, he's a high elf lord from, where is it? Where is it? Rivendale. So it was very Lord of the Rings themed, isn't it? And, and it comes across, that's, you know, that's how well sculpted and made it is. That was very obvious what that was. Good, good work. And then you've got Erin. Oh, it was a female elf archer? Not that that matters, but... I mean, it's, yeah, it's an elf, and he looks like a young lad. Oh, yeah, I guess it was a girl. Didn't even notice at the time. But look, it looks like it paints up pretty good. Maybe I was a bit harsh on it because it's the same miniature, right? But maybe it's just a really formidable painter there that's done that. But it does look pretty decent in this example. Ah, oh, so that's it, guys. That's it for this month. Next month is Flesh. What, is, what does that even mean? I'm excited to see that. 
Uh, anybody else? Uh, let me know in the comments what we guess might be in the flesh box. That's certainly going to be interesting. Anyway, guys, thank you all ever so much for watching. Links in the description below if you want to check any of this out or see any of my previous videos. There's lots and lots of model box unboxings on the channel. Thank you all ever so much for watching. I'll see you again next week.